How's it going everyone? And welcome back to the Enclave, South Africa's premier firearms education channel. So today we are going to just quickly be going over the one hour closed book test. So stick around. Okay, so as you will have seen in the intro there, <clears throat> today I'm going to be giving you just a quick talk over, I suppose, about the one hour closed book test. So I did receive a comment from someone, I'll be honest, I don't quite remember your name right now. Um, I apologize for that. Um, I also don't know if you want your name broadcast on my YouTube channel. So yeah, anyway, I received a comment from one of my subscribers and basically asking me to just give a little bit of, you know, coverage on the one hour closed book test. So that is what we are going to do. So I have a bunch of books here, as you all can see. Um, so these are business purpose. Let us put those aside just for one second, and then we'll focus on these books. So all of these books. Okay. <clears throat> so you've obviously got your shotgun, self-loading, manually operated rifles, and your um, handgun. So for these, the beautiful thing about the closed book test is all it does is confirm the knowledge that you filled in within your open book test. So all that test is actually there for is to confirm the fact that you know what you've answered in your open book test, which is obviously the tests that are in the back of all these books. Mine got ripped out, so I don't have them anymore. But um, yeah, main thing that I do just want to point out, I, I do believe I've covered it in one of my previous videos, I, I believe actually the video on the handle and use of a handgun and the ah, wow how magical is that i opened it up on the exact page that i needed to be so you want to be on page eight of your handle and use of a handgun that is under the law section okay uh, you'll see self-defense or private defense number 10 those principles are everybody has the right to life okay all persons are presumed innocent until found guilty by a competent court or tribunal everyone has the right to human dignity equality and freedom very important. That's three marks you can lose right there. Um, everyone has the right to own property. Now, that right there, um, if I'm not mistaken, two of the tests start with that and two of the tests don't have it at all. But so you got a 50 50 shot of having to know which words are missing. From that section 10 under the self defense or private defense on page 8. So that is a place where you can lose about five or six marks in your closed book test. And that is actually a bit of a problem. So you do absolutely want to know that. Um, the next thing you're absolutely going to want to know. Uh, let me see how luckily I can get. Nah, ammunition can get it right that time. Um, hmm. 
where is it here? Parts and functions. So you are absolutely going to want to be able to fully label one of these firearms. Um, and the thing is, I wouldn't necessarily rely on the Glock, unfortunately. So if you are a Glock fan and you specifically want a Glock, that's cool. But I would definitely recommend that you study the Glock and the standard CZ. Um, I think this is a CZ75 or something like that. I don't know, it looks kind of similar to the firearm I did my qualifications and things with. So, I, I don't know, whatever. Um, but yeah, I absolutely recommend that you, you study both of these because that is 15 marks right there. If you cannot fully label one of these diagrams, you will fail your test. Um, that, that is just the unfortunate thing about it. But at the end of the day, it's... It's not too difficult. Um, your fundamentals of shooting, uh, you're not going to be questioned too much on that. You will need to know that for your physicals, though, for your performance evaluation. So your instructor will be looking at your stance, will be looking at your grip, your trigger squeeze, things like that, um, your sight alignment. So... They will, in fact, also be making sure that you're following through. One of the biggest, 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 biggest mistakes that I've seen so far is that immediately when people are finished shooting at the target, they lower their firearm. And, and remember, that that is skipping the final step of our fundamentals of shooting. So we're up on target, bang, bang, bang. You want to stay on target. You want to look around. You want to make sure there's no other threat? Cool. You can bring down holster safely. Um, you, you don't just want to bang, 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 cool, we're done. Because then his homie comes out from around the corner over there and you've then got to redraw your firearm, get it up on target and, and do all those seven or six previous fundamentals of shooting before you can get back to your follow through again. So always remember, follow through. Even when you're working with paper targets, when you are finished, keep your firearm on target Follow through, when you're done, you can clear or you can do whatever, reholster, and be done. There is no rush to holster your weapon. You have all the time in the world. It is when you unholster your weapon that you need to be Lightning McQueen. When you're putting it away, smooth and steady wins the race. Um, that's for your, your practical evaluations, though. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely going to want to know how to list or be able to list the seven fundamentals of shooting. Stance, grip, breathing, trigger squeeze, side picture, sight alignment, follow through. So you're absolutely going to want to know all of those. Um, and then yeah, like I say, it's um, a lot of it is what you did in your, in your open book test. Um, you're definitely going to want to know your cartridge firing sequence. If you know your cartridge firing sequence, you can pretty much answer every question you will be posed on ammunition. So you obviously will understand what your primer does, what your powder does, the bullet casing, etc. And yeah, so pretty much just by knowing this little image down here on page 53, you will be able to nail all of the ammunition section of the closed book test. And here's the other thing. It's something that always scared me in school. Is that you'll see a test and they'll say it's three hours. And then you're like, oh, damn, there's going to be so much work. It's going to be so difficult. Oh, my word, it's going to take me three solid hours. And I would be done in 25 minutes and ace the test. So not, if you know what you're doing and you know the information, um, this will take you five minutes to do that test, genuinely. Like, um, so, so don't, don't stress about it. Like, really, really don't stress about it. It's not the most difficult test in the world. Um, your malfunctions, you might get a sentence. So, 
a failure of the cartridge to fire after the primer has been struck. And they'll then expect you to fill in underneath that. Which malfunction is that? Obviously, that's a misfire. So you literally just write there, misfire. Done. That, that's uh, so the the malfunction section, super simple, super easy. Um, cleaning kit. You might want to. I have gotten it in one of my tests, but not in the rest of them. So your odds are not that great of getting a question on the cleaning kit. But if you do, you'll want to know the cleaning rod, bronze brush, flannel, jags, nitro solvent. Let me see if I can do this. Gun oil. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm missing something. No, I got everything. Cleaning rod, <laughs> bronze brush, jag, flannel patches, nitro solvent, gun oil. Yes. I thought I was missing one. <laughs> so you're going to want to know that. You're going to want to know, like I just did, what is in a cleaning kit or what should be in a cleaning kit. Um, the safety inspections that you will need to know for your practical. But that is pretty much that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is, to be quite honest with you, a very simple test. The one book that I actually want to talk about, I don't have with me now, which is. I've literally got 20 books next to me here, but not the one book that I need. Um, the law book. So the law book is a multiple choice questionnaire. And you only have to do one. So that will be for that book, for that law, the, the section 60 of 2000. That is just multiple choice. It's pretty simple. Um, if you've gone through that book and you understand the laws, it, it's pretty much like scenarios and you tick A, B, C, or D. It's, it's really not that difficult. Um, I can assure you of that. And hmm, what else? What else did I want to cover? I'm trying to think. Like, it's, it's really simple, guys. Um, at most, like your, your biggest opportunity to fail I would say, is not understanding the parts of your firearm. So if you're not capable of identifying the trigger, trigger guard, muzzle, barrel, front sight, rear sight, chamber, well, chamber is always pointing here, but the chamber's in there. This is actually the ejection port. Um, slide frame, safety, slide lock, slide release, magazine release, magazine, uh, grip, tang, and then hammer, which is the whole thing, and hammer spur, which is the tip here. you got to know that. you got to be able to know all those parts, front side, rear side, don't know if I mentioned it. Um, you're going to want to know all those pieces because that's 15 marks. And as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I can recall through all my tests, it's the one section that if you were to leave blank, you may as well go home because you will absolutely, that will take every mark that you need to pass your test. Um, so... For me, that is the, the real one that if you see that on your closed book test and you panic, that's a real problem. So you really want to make sure that you understand all of your parts of your firearm. Um, but other than that, it's, it's actually really simple. I'll be, I'll be quite frank with you guys. When I did these books, um, the shotgun, rifle, and handgun for uh, business purpose, took me 14 and a half minutes to complete all three tests. So uh, take that from where you will. Obviously, by the time I got to those, I'd done all of these. I'd done a few other books. So, I mean, it, I wasn't completely new to it. But I literally walked outside and my instructor was like, yo, man, what's wrong? 
I'm like, I'm done. And he's standing there smoking. He's like, are you serious? And he looks at his watch. And he's like, no, are you serious? Are you finished already? You're going to pass. And I'm like, bro, I reckon I get 100%. And it took me 15 minutes. And I got 100%. So just understand your books. And, and what I like to do, and I, I can't show you guys to do it, but, but what I like to do when I'm preparing for those tests is actually go through the book and then go through the answers. Go through your what you've actually filled out at, in your open book test and get familiar with how they ask questions. Because I don't want you to be surprised to find out that they've literally copy-pasted a lot of the questions from your open book test. So if you know what you answered to what was asked in the books, you're going to see that question and like me, you're going to be like, ha ha, I know what to put there. I know exactly what to put there. So just make sure that you know your books. There, like I say, are a couple things that might trick you up. Those keywords I mentioned in the beginning of the self-defense, those are important. But at the end of the day, they're not going to cost you your test. But the knowledge of the parts of the handgun or parts of the rifle or parts of the shotgun, those can be very crucial. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, I hope that sort of helps anyone who might have wanted to know. And also, obviously, my subscriber who asked. I really appreciate you giving me the idea to actually do this video because I'll be honest, I didn't even think about the closed book test. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much that in a nutshell. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Subscribing is really the big one, guys. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers and it's going real slow. <laughs> We're trying to get there. So yeah, please, please, please subscribe. And if you've got more time, maybe check out another video here. And as always, peace out.